Hi there, welcome back. If you haven't seen the videos of how I use the radial wipe effect for split screens and pie chart animations, you can check out the links up here. And this time, I'm going to show you how to create a basic radial wipe effect in DaVinci Resolve and create a macro template for reuse in the edit page. Here in DaVinci Resolve, I've put a sample image on the timeline. Open it in the Fusion page. Select the media in node, click the matte control button in the toolbar to insert a matte control node after the media in node. Drag an ellipse node from the toolbar to the editor. Hold the Alt key and drag the ellipse output to matte control. Release the button and select garbage matte. The central area of the image is cut out because the ellipse mask is applied as the garbage input. Select the matte control node. In the inspector, expand the garbage matte section. Check the invert option. The mask is now inverted and the area defined by the mask is kept as the result. Select the ellipse node. Uncheck the solid option. Change the border width to 1. Set cap style to flat. Change both width and height to 1. Now if we change the length, we have a mask defined by a circular sector. As we change the length from 0 to 1, it wipes from 0 degrees to 360 degrees, which is counterclockwise and changing the position can change where the wiping starts. To change the mask wiping clockwise, select the matte control node. Uncheck the invert mode. Select the ellipse node. When we change the length from 1 to 0, the mask is now wiping clockwise. We can use the garbage matte invert parameter in the matte control node as the switch parameter to control the wipe direction. This wipe direction is mainly used for animations. It doesn't really matter if all we need is a static mask of circular sector shape. But it's not intuitive as this length parameter behaves differently from the counterclockwise direction. In this case, length zero means full image selection while one selects nothing, which is totally opposite to the counterclockwise direction. To address this issue, we will add a custom control for user input and modify the length parameter with a simple expression to invert the value. Right-click the ellipse node, select Edit Controls. Enter length input as the name. Leave the type as number. Change the page to Controls. Set the default value to 1. Change the range from 0 to 1 and allowed also from 0 to 1. Select slide control as the input control. Click OK to confirm. The new control is now available in the inspector. Enter equals sign in the length input field, press enter to enable the simple expression. Drag a whip from the add button to the new custom parameter, release the button. Now the length is linked to the length input. The value also changes as we adjust the length input parameter. Select the matte control node. Click this pin button to keep the node always available in the inspector. Select the ellipse node. Move the cursor to the beginning of the expression. Drag a whip to the garbage invert so that we don't have to type the name. Now change the length expression to a conditional input, like shown on the screen. Which means when it's in clockwise mode, replace the length with its opposite of user input. After this change, zero of length input always means no selection, and one always means full selected. When garbage invert is checked, the wipe is counterclockwise. Otherwise the wipe is clockwise. Okay, 
We have done a basic radial wipe effect in the fusion page. We can now save this as template and reuse it in the edit page. But before we proceed, let's change the parameters to what we'd like to use as the default values. For example, I want the default direction to be counterclockwise, which is the invert option checked. Also, I want the start position at zero. The initial length input is 0.1. This looks good to me as the default effect. Select both ellipse and mat control node. Right click and choose macro, create macro. In the macro editor, enter a name for the macro. Select the position parameter to allow us to change the wiping start point. Select the center parameter so that we can change the wiping center. Also include the length input. We can keyframe it in the edit page to create animations. Change the name to wipe length. And select the garbage invert parameter from the mat control node. Change the name to counterclockwise. In the option menu, choose save as group. Save to the effect template folder as shown on the screen. Close the macro editor, go back to the edit page. The radial wipe tutorial effect is now available in the effects panel. If it's not there, you can restart DaVinci Resolve to ensure the effects panel is updated. Add the sample image to the timeline. Apply the tutorial effect. And we have the image masked with a circular sector shape. In the inspector, we can use the parameters to make the adjustments. Change the wipe position or move the wiping center. We can keyframe the wipe length parameter to create wiping animations. For example, Create a keyframe at the beginning and set the length to zero. Press shift right arrow keys to move the playhead a second forward. Change the wipe length to 0.6. A new keyframe is added automatically. Play the timeline. The image is revealed with a wiping effect in counterclockwise direction. If we uncheck the counterclockwise option, the animation is changed to a clockwise wiping. All right, that's all for today. If you want to learn more about the other features I put in the Essential Radial Wipe Effect template, you can examine the node tree in the Fusion page. Or leave a comment if you would like to see an advanced tutorial. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.